Panginoon. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. the angel of the Lord declare unto Mary, And she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among whom blesses the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it, be it done, done unto me according, according to thy word. Holy Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among whom blesses the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word has become flesh and, and dwelt among us. Then Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among whom blesses the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Pray Amen. for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy, worthy of the promises of Christ. Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, as we know the incarnation of Christ, your Son, by the mass of the angel. May by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of the resurrection. We ask this through Christ. Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. On Jordan's bank the Baptist cry announces that the Lord is nigh. Awake and hearken for he brings glad tidings of the King of Kings. Then cleanse me every soul from sin. Make straight the way of God within. Prepare we in our hearts a home where such a mighty guest may come. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. And with your spirit. The mass will be offered for Father Raymond O'Brien. As we come together to celebrate the third Sunday of Advent, today we rejoice with the Church, because Christ, although He is among us, He is coming to us, and He is coming at His second coming to take us to Him. This is a different type of joy that we have. Because Christ himself, not only he is among us, but he is the one who will always be with us to exhort us to the eternal heaven. Let us pause for a while and ask God's forgiveness as we rejoice today that Christ, that came 2,000 years ago, is coming again to give us the pledge of eternal life. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do. Through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christ eleison. Christ eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. <coughs> O God, Father of mercies, who place your people under the signal protection of your Holy Son, O God, who see how your people faithfully await the feast of the Nativity of our Lord, Enable us, we pray, to attain the joy of so great salvation, and so to celebrate them always with solemn worship and glad rejoicing through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.
A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and release to the prisoners, to announce a year of favor from the Lord, and a day of vindication by our God. I rejoice heartily in the Lord. In my God is the joy of my soul, for he has clothed me with a robe of salvation and wrapped me in a mantle of justice, like a bridegroom adorned with a diadem, like a bride bedecked with her jewels. As the earth brings forth its plants and a garden makes its growth spring up, so will the Lord God make justice and praise spring up before all the nations. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. My soul rejoices in my God. My soul rejoices in my God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. The Spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. My soul rejoices in my God. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. My soul rejoices in my God. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. My soul rejoices in my God. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice always, pray without ceasing. In all circumstances give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Do not quench the spirit. Do not despise prophetic utterances. Test everything. Retain what is good. Refrain from every kind of evil. May the God of peace make you perfectly holy, and may you entirely, spirit, soul, and body, be preserved blameless for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will also accomplish it. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring Glad tidings to the poor. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Daphne Mulay al Bufome Bishin Shandar Kifishra Levangelium at this year, Sultan Messiru Talibanatal Spiritus Santo. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Lord. A man named John was sent from God 
he came to testify, and his testimony is to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to testify to the light. And this is the testimony of John. When the Jews from Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to him to ask him, Who are you? He admit and did not deny it, but admitted, I am not the Christ. So they asked him, What are you then? Are you Elijah? And he said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, No. So they said to him, Who are you? So can we can give an answer to those who send, you, send us to you. What do you have to say for yourself? John the baptizer said, I am the voice of one crying in the desert, make straight the way of the Lord. As Isaiah the prophet said, some Pharisees also who went to see him to, to John, they asked him, why then do you baptize if you are not the Christ or Elijah or the prophet? John answered them, I baptize you with water, but there is one among you whom you do not recognize, the one who is coming after me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to untie. It. This happened in Bethany, across the Jordan, where John was baptizing. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Some Pharisees sent priests and Levi to John the baptizer and they asked him, Who are you? He claimed he is not the Christ. He claimed he is not Elijah. He claimed he is not a prophet. Then they proceed to ask him, Then why you baptize? I baptize with water, but there is one among you whom you do not recognize, who will baptize with the Spirit. My dear people, these words that we just quote are very important for this Sunday. We call it Gaudate Sunday. If you read the first reading today, there is beautiful, beautiful reading that we read from Isaiah that even Jesus himself quoted during his ministry. I am anointed. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has sent me to open the eyes of the blind, to open the doors of prisoners, and to announce a year of salvation. This reading that we just read is divided into two parts of Isaiah. The first part is the fulfillment of God that he himself not only prophesied by, by Isaiah, but also Jesus himself prophesied it in Nazareth, in the synagogue. The second part is we thank God for his great gift of salvation. If we look at the read of the Gospel today, we find that John has something to say about himself. I am a voice in the desert. Now many times when we hear about voice in the desert, you say the desert whom he is preaching to, to the, to the, to the sand, what he is preaching to. Remember the scripture, the word desert in scripture means the word, W-O-R-L-D. And that is what we are, we are in a desert. Because this desert that we are living in there is no, as we saw, there is no resolution for our happiness. And the only happiness 
is what John said, there is one among you whom you don't recognize. He is the one who will baptize you. He is the one who will give you the Holy Spirit. He is the one who gives you happiness. And he is so great that I am not even worthy to unset and fasten his sandal. John recognized that Christ, although he was among them, and although John in time, he was born in time before him, Jesus was God. And that's why he said to them, you don't recognize him. Because your eyes are feasted on things of this earth. Your eyes are, are, are focused on things that is here, not on things where he is. And this is exactly what Christmas is all about, dear people. If you look around, how many people are going to the, to the grocery to buy the turkeys or buy the food and put in the freezer because that is what Christmas is all about. Wrapping all kinds of gifts, running from one store to the other. And the idea of Christmas, the birth of Christ, is far gone. During the Christmas holiday, I have the tendency to go with my car as I am going shopping or doing other things. And I look at the lawns. And few and about, you see one nativity scene. Everyone is with the snowman and the Father Christmas and all kinds of trees and all kinds of... We have let God go out of our lives. We are living in a desert. And this desert will not give us pleasure and security and give us happiness. Because we abandon the true happiness, Jesus Christ. This is what the church is trying to say to us today in that second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Avoid what is evil. Attain what is good. Because the judge is coming. And when he comes, he wants you to find you blameless, without no blemish, ready to stand before him so that your entrance into heaven will be secure. This is what the church is trying to say to us on this Sunday of joy. The joy that Christ is coming. And he is coming and our heart is full of joy. It's not what we say at Mass, the Christ who died, the Christ who is risen is the Christ we are waiting for. And that Christ who is coming will fill our joy with happiness, especially for those who are doing what he asks of us to do. And what he asks us to do? To be merciful. Feed the hungry. Feed those who are, who are less, um, without nothing to eat. Be happy are those, the poor, we say in the first letter, in the first reading. What kind, of, what kind of poor? I mean, I remember my grandmother speaking about the depression of the 1930s. It was not foreign games. To have a piece of bread, they have to go to town and sell eggs or whatever it is so that they will make it. Jesus does not speak about that kind of poverty. But he is speaking about the poverty that although you have things, you are not attached to them. That you are ready to dispose of them. That you are ready to give to others what God has abandoned you with surplus and more and more than you need. This is the kind of Christmas. This is the kind of, of attitude we have to have for Christmas. And then the true happiness will enter our life. Did you ever notice that? When you do something for others that are really not, not saying to you that they are in need of something, but when you do something for others, after you have done it, even if you are not received a thank you, you are full of joy. That joy is the, is the, is the gift of God, that God give us that joy to give us a glimpse of what it is happiness, the true happiness. And this is what really the church is asking us to do during these few days before Christmas. Have you thought about somebody or someone in your community or somebody that you know, that you focus yourself on that person and try to make that Christmas, and not only Christmas, try to make the days of his life a little bit comfortable. This is what really the reality of Christmas, because we are living in a desert, dear people, a desert of no God. 
a desert that no happiness. They, 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 you see the advisement on television, if you buy this cream, oh, you will be younger. If you buy this hat, you look handsome. If you buy this, you will not be sick for, and you live for 100 years. All this commercial to make money out of your pocket. And we idiots, we buy them because we want to, you know, do what they are saying that they are going to do to us. Little we know that the true happiness comes from knowing God, from knowing Jesus Christ, his son, from being obedient to the word of Christ. Like John said, I am a voice screaming in the desert. Prepare the way of the Lord. And that is the question I put to you today. If God comes to you and say, what do you have to say about yourself? Don't tell me I am a Catholic, because that means nothing for God. What means for God is, I am a voice. With my life that I live, with my action that I perform, to attract others to you, O Lord. To bring them close to you, because I am not the Christ. I am just the bearer of the light. I bring the light to others so others can come and follow and come to you. This is the answer that God wants to hear from us. Because at the end of the journey, he's not going to tell me how many, how many masses I said or how many sermons I gave or how many things I did, but he will say to me, I, should, I challenge you to become passionate and you fail. I, ha I ask you to be kind and you doubt me because you begin question the person. Little we know that what we need to do is to follow the direction of John the Baptizer. I am a voice. I am not the Christ. I am not the Elijah that the chosen people are waiting to come. I'm not a prophet and we know that he is the, the greatest of the prophet. In fact, he is the last prophet, but he claim I am not the prophet. Why he's not a prophet? Because he's a voice. He humbled himself. He lost, he lose himself so that Christ will be always, uh, 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 always uplifted. Let us take this week before Christmas and really enter into your own life for a few moments and see what is your direction? Where are you going? What God is going to say about you? What do you have to say about yourself to God? And prepare yourself so that that Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, whenever you go to Mass, when the baby Jesus is going to be placed on your hands for communion, you are going to receive him in your body well prepared, with love and compassion that he himself has asked us to do so the joy that we celebrate today with all the festival of flowers and different, different vestments that we wear to show this joy will be a reality. Because now we see a mirror and then we see face to face. God bless you. Thank you. Let me know. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, God the, the Father, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and earth of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men for our salvation he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended to heaven and the seat of the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and Son, who with the Father and Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and to look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Calling to mind our needs, 
and the anticipation of the season of generosity, we turn to God, who gave us the greatest gift to all. For the Church, that our words and action may testify to the light, so that others may recognize the goodness of God in what we say and do. Let us pray the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That justice and peace may spring up before all nations. Let us pray the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For prophets of our time, who boldly proclaim the truth, as they stand up for what is right and good and worthy, let us pray the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Jewish brothers and sisters, who have begun celebrating Hanukkah, the festival of the lights, let us pray the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor, the brokenhearted, the captives, the prisoners, and that they may know a year of favor from the Lord, let us pray the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may hear the word of St. Paul, to retain what is good, and refrain from what kind of evil, as we await the coming of our Lord Jesus, let us pray the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. I pray for the sick, especially for those who are sick with COVID, that the Lord may hear them, for those first responders, for the doctors, nurses, and the police, and also we pray for those who have lost their loved ones, that God may give them rest, and for those who left behind consolation, let us pray the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pause for our, our personal intention, especially on this beautiful day, the 12th of December, the feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe, as she said to Juan Diego, if I am your mother, why not come and ask me what you need? Loving God, we rejoice heartily in your generosity, that you have done great things for us. Remembering your promise of mercy, look with favor on your creation and hear the prayer we make to the one who coming we long for, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Bless be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we acceptable by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for all his holy church. Amen. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, we offer to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in the sacred mysteries and powerful accomplish for us the saving work through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, 
and all is at last made manifest. We who watch for the day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with throne and dominions, with all the host of powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your Holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Father, make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. He gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more he gave you thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Dennis, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Father Raymond, whom you have called from this world to yourself, Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. We pray for our loved ones. Don Sal, Don Giuseppe, Don Nard, Don Nazaren, Don Michele, Don Eric, Patri, Martin, Patri, Kerr, Giorgia, Michele, Mary, Jane, Marie, Eva, Regina, Andy, Janet, Mary, Carol, and Jack, and all those who died from the virus, especially George, who will be buried this coming Tuesday. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and martyrs especially, with St. John Wego, Diego, <coughs> St. Jo George Preca, and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you 
through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As the Savior's command and for by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead and us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as way the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance to your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us Christ, be all in high, be mighty, be great, be the Messiah, be the head of the Spirit, the Saint, and the Father, the High, the Divine. Be with them at this time, and listen to me, and hear the call of my call. As I'm the Emperor, the Lord, and the Lord, 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 the This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. This is the light that John pointed to the world. How blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Corpus et sanguinem Domine Jesu Christi, custodia vita eterna. Amen. Communion Antiphon. Say to the faint of heart, Be strong and do not fear. Behold, our God will come and he will save us. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. O Madam Atzer, if you are Christ of the Palika, the Spirit of Kirat and Passion of the Oculus Wacht and Trad will hide him. Bartholomew will house me summer, Udanan to the Lay, Nitor will be Santismo Sacrament, Aladu, Palatina of Kirat and Passion will melt the actage with salt and our day and the day. Red to Signorella, Wachfil de Signorella.
מולי אין אמן פי כל לא גבליתא, מולי אין נתמר פי כל לא קנינא, מולי אין חבו פו כל לא שכל לא קמחבו, נינדא משרש תקו פן דייתא כל לא קטי בו חנין, עד אסרו בסגר אין תהיה כל לא אוטוסייה. And for those who cannot make it for communion with due to the COVID, we say the spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most sacrament of the order. I love you above all things. I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this time receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly with you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We implore your mercy, O Lord, that this divine substance may cleanse us from our faults and prepare us for the coming feast of our Savior. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Let us say prayer to Saint Michael. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke and we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, to cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl around the world, seeking the ruins of souls. Amen. Let us say one Hail Mary to our Lady of Guadalupe, and we offer it for our country. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse today. Hail, Holy Queen, and throne above and the blood of Maria, triumph for ye cherubim, sing with us ye seraphim, heaven and earth resound the hymn, 